Hey, this is Amy over at German Pearls with another iPhone tip for you. Um, today we're going to talk about a tip for when you're composing emails. Now some people may not compose emails on the iPhone because it is a little difficult with the small keyboard and I understand that. Um, typing on here with your fingers can be difficult. But uh, you might want to check out a series that we wrote uh, blog posts over on GermanPearls.com on different tips and tricks to making typing much faster on your iPhone. Okay, so check those out. Okay, now back to our tip here. We're going to be talking about composing an email message. Now sometimes we're going to start writing our email message and I'm just going to write some text in here. And then we want to reference something else and we say, oh no, I have to go to another app or I want to open that website I was just reading about. So you want to go out and then you come back in or you want to reference another email, but you don't want to lose this draft. You don't want to hit cancel, save draft, go back, find your drafts. It's a lot of extra steps. So there's a little trick you can do. You can put your finger up here on the bar that says new message. Whoops, cancel. Sorry about that. We're going to put our finger on the bar and we're just going to drag it down and you'll see it says new message at the bottom. We can now go back and we can open, say, this email we have from Susan over at Of Every Moment, uh, one of my blogging friends. You should go check out her blog. And then we can reference whatever we wanted to look up. And then our draft is still sitting there. So when we find what we're looking for, we can just take this, click on it, and our draft comes back up. We can continue typing and then hit send. Oh, we have to go check out something else. You're going to click on the top bar, drag it all the way down to the bottom. You'll now see the subject title of the new message, which is just a bunch of letters I wrote. And you can go around and you can look at whatever you need to look at. And when you're ready to continue typing, excuse me, oops, you just tap on it and it pops back up again. Okay, so that's a good way to just temporarily hold a draft email without having to save it in the draft folder. And it's kind of a pain to go back and find the draft folder and find the draft and open it. Just another little trick for you. Check out our other tricks on the YouTube channel or over at GermanPearls.com. Thanks for watching.